Hello, welcome to evening prayer for Friday, the 26th of February. February is nearly done now, and we look forward to the unfolding of the seasons as we press through towards March. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his house of prayer. My soul waits for the Lord, more than the watchman waits for the morning, more than the watchman waits for the morning. I will wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word do I hope. Psalm 54 Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your power. Hear my prayer, O God, give heed to the words of my mouth. The strangers have risen up against me, and the ruthless seek after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who upholds my life. May evil rebound on those who lie in wait for me. Destroy them in your faithfulness. An offering of a free heart will I give you. And praise your name, O Lord, for it is gracious. For he has delivered me out of all my trouble. My eye has seen the downfall of my enemies. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And, well, Joseph's brothers, minus Simeon, have gone back to see Jacob. They don't know that they're dealing with Joseph, they just know they needed food because of a famine. They have the food, but they also have the money they paid for the food returned to them. And they're very worried about what's going to happen next. When they came to their father Jacob in the land of Canaan, they told him all that had happened to them, saying, The man, the lord of the land, spoke harshly to us and charged us with spying on the land. But we said to him, We are honest men, we're not spies. We're twelve brothers, sons of our father. One is no more, and the youngest is now with our father in the land of Canaan. Then the man, the lord of the land, said to us, By this I shall know that you are honest men. Leave one of your brothers with me. Take grain for the family, famine of your households, and go your way. Bring your youngest brother to me and I shall know that you are not spies, but honest men. And then I will release your brother to you, and you may trade in the land. As they were emptying their sacks, there in each one's sack was his bag of money. When they and their father saw their bundles of money, they were dismayed. And their father Jacob said to them, I am the one you have bereaved of children. Joseph is no more, and Simeon is no more, and now you would take Benjamin. All this has happened to me. Then Reuben said to his father, You may kill my two sons if I do not bring him back to you. Put him in my hands, and I will bring him back to you. But he said, my son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he alone is left. If harm should come to him on the journey that you are, are to make, you would bring my grey hairs with sorrow to Sheol. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity. By invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word, 
Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me. Christ my left and my right, this day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. This night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. With all authority, gentle and intimacy, Christ our identity. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger, this night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. So we pray for the United Nations that it may be an effective instrument of peace in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the World Health Organization as it seeks to encourage a proper investigation into the origins of COVID-19. And as it promotes, along with COVAX, the distribution of vaccines to developing countries. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of nations that they may be given knowledge, wisdom and understanding in pursuit of the good of all their peoples so that they may live in peace within their frontiers and with other nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray especially for the relationship between Russia, the United States and China. We recognise that in some of the world's trouble spots, it's really the influence of na other nations that is perpetuating conflict. We pray for peace and resolution of all the troubles of Libya, of Syria, Kurdistan, Iraq, Yemen and those other countries where there is the pushing and pulling of civil strife encouraged by international influences. Lord, speak peace to the unruly ways of sinful nations, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peoples displaced by war or persecution or poverty, that they may be given courage and find a hope a welcome and a future. And we pray that each nation that is receiving migrants of various descriptions at this present time may be given great guidance and wisdom as to how to process those people and find the best way forward in every case. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those especially on our minds and hearts this day. Heal the sick. Bring peace to the afflicted and conflicted. Mend broken hearts and relationships. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. No longer will violence be heard in your land, nor ruin or destruction within your borders, but you will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. Amen. So be it, O Lord. That faith, hope and love will abound and our lives be known by joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. 
Amen. So be it, O Lord. Then this district will bring me renown, joy, praise and honour before all nations on earth that hear of all the good things I do for it. And they will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. Amen. So be it, O Lord. We come to the collect for today. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ fasted 40 days in the wilderness and was tempted as we are, yet without sin, give us grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your Spirit. And as you know our weakness, so may we know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May your worries for the future be lifted from your heart and held in God's gracious hands. There's always uncertainty about tomorrow and we can never be masters of our own fate. But may you remember that God can be trusted with your deepest fears. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>